Rav Simcha Bunim of Pshischa was a student of the Magid of Kaznitz, the Chose of Lublin, and the Yid HaKadosh, early leaders of Hasidus. He taught his followers to study Torah and to perfect themselves through introspection. His famous followers included the first Gera Rebbe, as well as the Katska Rebbe. Rav Simcha Bunim, who passed away in 1827, was well versed in the secular world aside from his Torah knowledge. He was a licensed pharmacist, a customs agent, and a linguist, an accomplished bridge player, as well as a theater and concert attendee. One of the anchors of Rav Simcha Bunim's approach was Avas Hashem, the concept of serving Hashem with boundless joy and love. All pursuits and desires of this world have limits, but love of Hashem has no limit. That message emerges in a comment by one of Rav Simcha Bunim's students, Rav Yaakov Aaron of Alexander, on our parsha. Rav Yaakov Aaron pointed out that when Eliezer tested Rivka at the well to see if she would be an appropriate wife for Yitzchak, he watched to see whether she would provide water for himself as well as for his camels. Why was the last step necessary? Providing water for Eliezer would already determine her generosity. What else could be needed? So Rav Yaakov Aaron, following Rav Simcha Bunim's message of boundless love, explained that when we have a, physically, a physical hunger, we can be satisfied with a finite quantity. A traveler comes off the road, he can be satisfied with a loaf of bread, a jug of water, and he's going to eat the same amount whether you give him one loaf of bread or five, one jug of water or ten. When we love Hashem, though, we have a spiritual hunger. We wish to perform more mitzvahs. We wish to do more to draw closer to Hashem. Our love has no boundary, and so we live it in every way to the maximum. This is what Eliezer wanted to see. That Rivka would have generosity, yes. That Rivka would choose to help, Yitz, to help Eliezer, for sure. But that she would have that boundless love for the mitzvah that would drive her to such heights of chesed, such heights of generosity, that she would not only provide Eliezer with water, but also provide his camels with water. And that's what Rivka displayed. And the rest is history. Shei Baneh Shei Baneh